wasn't snowing and I didn't have a car. And the man with his wine and his big window and his feet up looked at his frozen strip of creek in the backyard and was satisfied to have people in his house to show this bit of success to. Like a fish hook was led through my belly button, baitless and non-compliant, I was on into my own pull, directed past the point of explosion, argument, upheaval. To say that every part of me spins things into chaos, to say that as much as an eyeball can take in is the limits of my current opening, a painful but growing place, like where it is damp in the shade of the thick forest, sunspots coming through the treetops, things can, can, things can be that aren't in other elsewheres. I am a strong influence, and it isn't always that comforting. But to say that every calm I've placed as possibility is most parts chaotic, to say that I often cause the explosion, all of these things give me too much that is beyond me, not enough of what is inside. Like a fish-hooked, belly-centered being, I go home past exhausted to see my Nana that I must see because of my knowing that I must see her. Graham, I just don't understand. He gets mad because I don't want him to treat people like shit. I know, Bean, I know. It isn't right what he does. It isn't right how he talks to Jan. Thanks for letting me stay here, Graham. Grab your tea and cookies. Let's, see it. Let's sit in the living room, put our feet up. In Graham's living room is a museum of all of our faces. There are shelves of old encyclopedias, Next to the fireplace is a clay handprint of my father's hand as a toddler. This is the history room, our history. There is a point, there is a portrait of her in a Japanese style dress. The TV has turned dials on it and 10 channels of buttons. There are photo albums of all of us, a freestanding coat and hat stand, a clear plastic runner from the front door into the mouth of the kitchen to let you know you weren't supposed to have your shoes on in case she doesn't get to you at the front door. <laughs>